What's going on everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back to the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Damage Indicator mod, and what this mod will allow you to do in Minecraft is it'll show you how much damage a mob can take before it does die. It also shows you what sort of uh, potions it has on it, so if you use some splash potions on it, it'll show you what it's got and how long it has left on that potion. So I'm going to go ahead and just use an iron sword to demonstrate um, the damage and then I'll use a sheep, a cow, and a villager. And then for the potions of a potion of slowness, poison, weakness, and then a potion of harming just a different way to um, show the mobs taking damage. So we'll just start off with the sheep. And you see when I hit the sheep, it gave it six damage so it has two more health points left. So if we go ahead and hit it again you can see it does die. So it tells you how much damage um, you are inflicting on the mob. Again, the iron sword will always be six. Of course, your fist will be um, one. So you'd have to eat it. You'd have to hit a sheep eight times to be able to kill it. So let's go ahead and use a villager. Oh, this guy's like a pope or something. And the villagers always run away. No, it didn't mean to do that. Come back here. There we go. So now you can see it does have the potion of slowness on it. And that'll last for 55 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and do this to the cows because the cows don't run away like the villagers do. So there you go. It's got a potion of slowness on it. We'll give it a potion of uh, poison. And you can see it'll just continue to harm, uh, harm it. And then we'll do a potion of weakness. So there you go, you can see it's got three things on it. Well, not anymore because the potion of poison has run off. And it tells you how much time is left for that potion. And then a potion of harming, of course, just kill it. That deals 48 damage. So that's pretty much it for the um, damage indicator mod. I almost forgot what the, the mod of the name was right there. Or the name of the mod. There we go, I cannot speak tonight. But anyways, that is the damage indicator mod. Pretty cool mod, uh, would definitely be useful for something like the um, uh, Ender Dragon or any of the bosses, which would probably be where it's most useful, uh, because you do have to do a lot of damage to them, and you can see how much time is left on certain potions and all that good stuff. So that is the Damage Indicator mod. I now declare up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this. Alright, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7 or WinZip. Now all these archiving programs will pretty much work the same exact way so you can use whatever you prefer. However, I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. You will then need to download Minecraft Forge and the Damage Indicators mod itself. So to get these two files, I will go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the Damage Indicators mod, if we go ahead and scroll down, you have all the information about the mod as well as a few screenshots. And uh, there are different texture packs you can use for the indicators, which is right here. Uh, so that one's like a dragon design, which is pretty cool. It's definitely a lot better looking than the normal plane uh, damage indicator, which you see right here. But to download the mod, we want to click on this link right here under download. And it'll just take us... This will take us over to an ad fly that will say please wait 5 seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that 5 seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. And of course, as soon as, soon as you click on skip ad, it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download the damage indicators mod. Now for Minecraft Forge, if we go ahead and come over to the main Forge download, you can either download it from AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind, downloading it from AdFly will help support the mod creator. You will want to download it, the recommended version, simply because this is the most stable version of Minecraft Forge to date, and you will want to download the universal, not the source. So that is how to download everything you will need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install the mod, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent. Go ahead and open up your roaming, and then open your dot Minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now we will be coming back to our bin later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. 
And you're going to want to highlight all these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar. And the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold control, then hit A. And again, that will highlight everything and simply drag it on into your Minecraft jar. And hit OK. Go ahead and close down Minecraft Forge. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. You will want to delete this, so go ahead and right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes, and that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you are always deleting MetaInf for installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close down your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit Backs, so we're back in the .minecraft folder. You're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder. And to create one, you want to go ahead and right click within the .minecraft folder. Go down to New, then select Folder. This will of course create a new folder and you will want to rename this folder mods. So just M-O-D-S, no capitalizations. So once you have your mods folder, go ahead and open that up and simply take your damage indicator zip file and drag it on into the mods folder. Now you can go ahead and close down the mods folder and that's it, you're done installing the mod. So thanks for watching, please leave a comment down below in the description for future mod tutorial suggestions and I will see you guys next time.